Welcome back you guys, my name is Graham, we're in today's game, we're going to be playing, it's called Indivisible, and I really have no idea what this game is, it's basically a hybrid between an RPG and a 2D platformer, and all that, I'm not really sure on what the concept is, I played this only for a few minutes to just get a feel for what the game is supposed to be, so if I do this game for you guys, at least I have it brand new for me, so then I'm more not expecting what's going to happen when I start this for you. So I haven't seen the story. I haven't done anything with that. But it's really weird. Like it's almost. It's very different from what you would think an RPG is. But it's not a 2D platformer either. It's different from a 2D platformer and different from what an RPG is. It's very different and I'm not someone who picks up RPGs and everything I'm not one of those people who likes the back and forth of the you of the combat of you hit the enemy then the enemy hits you you have to choose if you want to heal yourself and just that mechanic I'm just not into but so the last RPG I actually played was Steven Universe Save the Light so I'm very curious on what this is, and I'm just gonna enter and do what it says, because apparently I just press any button to enter, apparently, so... Very curious on what this is. Apparently we're just starting in someone's head, I guess, uh, or a dream, or what What do I press? It looks like I'm supposed to press the button. This part I just never understood. I was just randomly pressing the first time I actually did this part, so... I haven't done nothing past this part, so I am just very... just curious on what's happening here. I apparently am getting hit, and... So, so, yeah, I'm not going to be able to defeat the monster. I'm guessing it's supposed to be like some dream or some foe that I'm going to be fighting later in the game. Just at this moment showing you how to do the fighting mechanic because apparently it doesn't show you yet. I'm just not really sure on what's happening. But all I do know is that I can attack with the enemy you know, as, as one of the char playable characters. And I, so it's almost like the Steven Universe game that I played to where I do have to wait for the, wait for the commands to reload so then I can go and attack. So that is something that I am now realizing that I didn't realize the first time because I was just seeing what the game was all about at first. So, okay, so R1 and then square. Don't know what I'm going to do, but going to do this.
Um, am I able to move? What, what, what's going on? It doesn't seem like I'm doing anything, so... Move, moveability? Okay, so I am able to move. So, up, down, and what, what, the, what are the controls? So, block, so I can jump, so I can punch. Um, okay, I don't know what that does, but... I'll figure it out sooner or later, or it may tell me because I do have the help options on. So the tutorial is on. So if I, so if I get anything new, I will learn about it. So, okay. Good morning, Roti. <laughs> ah, what a lovely day to blow off practice. <laughs> I know, I know. I wouldn't really skip training, but. It's so early. I can learn just as well in the afternoon, can't I? <laughs> oh, well, guess we better head off before the old man explodes. Maybe we can beat him there this time. Okay, so that is different. They actually put voice acting to the characters. That's cool. Usually RPGs, as I've seen, don't usually put voice acting into the characters, so that's really cool. So basically, if I talk to any of the um, non-story progressive characters, they're not just, they're not going to speak and it's all just dialogue at that point, so. Okay, so it's just um, dialogue on the screen and no one's spe actually speaking if it's a character that is a non-progressive character who will progress the story in any fashion, so. Okay, okay, makes sense. I like the art style of this game really it looks really cool, and I also like the music. I also I do know that RPGs do have really good music and really good art and all that to to that, but this is really different than the that than ones I've played because I've never really picked one up. I have tried here and there, but not a lot. But okay, so yeah, I have never really like played a lot of them, so I'm not really sure on what to expect so it's all like brand new to me so anything like I'm supposed to expect I really don't know so this is gonna be all brand new to me if I'm supposed to expect anything that is here or any like tropes or anything that are usually in art PGs and everything I'm just not gonna understand because I don't usually play them that much I the as I said, the last one I did play was Steven Universe Save the Light, and that was for you guys, so I don't really play RPGs in my free time, so that that is a thing. Huh! Nobody in sight! Who's slow now, old man? <laughs> yeah! Asna, you're late. Well, uh, you're late! You're... you're late! Enough nonsense, child. What? Well, you smacked me! That's the nonsense! This is training, Hashna. If you'd been paying attention, you wouldn't have gotten hurt. I was paying attention. I just didn't expect a cheap shot from my dad. <sighs> Combat is rarely predictable or fair. Oh yeah? Then take this! I've told you time and time again, you must never project your attacks. I know, I just get all fired up. One of your best and worst qualities. Yeah, I'm a hot-blooded teen. And a very strange one at that. Well, look who raised me. I suppose you have a point. That's right, 
Score one for Ashna. What you should be scoring is hits against your old dad. Oh, I'll score some hits, all right, with Mom's axe. <laughs> oh, Ashna, didn't I just warn you about projecting your attacks? Looks like we're going back to basics. No, again? When you have learned to concentrate, when you can actually block my strikes, maybe then we can talk about Mother's axe. Really? Really. A solid defense is the root of any proper combat strategy. From there, your true potential blossoms. Right, that's stuff. Let's do it! Activate flowering defense! A new sparring partner, eh? So, exactly, I'm just supposed to do the tutorial. This is just learning how to do stuff. Not so fast! Um... Try harder! Um, okay, so apparently I just do this. Well, how's that? Not bad, huh? Hmm, it was sloppy. I expect better. You expect better? Who says that to their kid? I just want you to improve, Ashna. You'll never reach your full potential if you don't listen. I listen. Ashna, calm down. No, I'm coming all the way up! How do you expect me to talk to you when you're like this? You want to act like you can't talk to me when I'm like this? When do you ever talk to me anyway? Arjna. No, you know what? We're talking about this now. Must we go through this again? Okay, how about an easy one, huh? Where are you from, Dad? How old are you? Why won't you even tell me that? Can't answer? Okay, let's increase the difficulty. How did Mom die? I don't even know what she looked like. Your mother and I, we... Now is not the time. Then when is the time? Don't I deserve to know? Listen, child, I am your father. It's not for you to lecture me. I'm the teacher here. If you're my dad, then act like it! Your anger is getting the better of you, Ashna. I'm going home. You may join me when you've cooled off, and only then. Dad! You can't just walk out on this conversation! And he's gone. Great. Who's supposed to be the child here? Ugh, he's so frustrating! But I better go apologize. I guess. Dad! Wait up! So apparently it's gonna be one of those types of stories to where basically the hero is supposed to figure out who their father and mother used to be and realize that they have greater power than what they normally w have on their own and the basically their friends and allies are gonna show her the way of what to do and everything. Is that what's going to happen? Because if so then I, I understand but that just seems very typical for a story like this. It just seems very typical for a story like this, so... Yeah. Okay, okay, I don't need the dictionary of what I can and cannot do. It's fast for an old guy. Wait, is that smoke? And it's coming from the village. What's happening? Oh no, Dad could be down there. So, someone attacks the village, the dad dies, or gets captured, and I then have to start my journey there, I guess? I'm not really sure, but I've played enough, I've done enough stories to understand something like that, so I'm guessing that's what's going to happen, I, apparently. So, let's just get to the enemy that we need to fight, apparently. Wait. Stopping here and doing what I need to do. Okay. Stop, save, and let's just go. Because apparently that's what we need to do here. I don't know exactly what I'm getting myself into, but I do know that there's probably an enemy here that I need to take out. Dad! Are you... Oh no, this looks bad. It looks really bad. You... What have you done? So, the old man had a child. I'll allow you to say your goodbyes, but your life is forfeit. Heretic. Ashna. Ashna. You're strong. You're the best student I could have asked for. 
and the best daughter. I know I've been hard on you. I know I haven't been the kindest father, but things are only going to get harder. You have to... Don't worry about all that right now. I just need you to be okay. I'm sorry. You were right. There's so much I need to tell you. Dad, save your strength. I'll beat this guy and we'll get you fixed up. I want to tell you everything. I know I should have from the start. But don't worry, Ashna. Death isn't the end. Gather friends around you. Become stronger. I'm sure you can... You can... Dad! Dad! Come back! Save your tears for someone who cares, girl. Your life ends now. For the glory of Lord Ravanovar! You killed my father! You burned our village! As I should have. A village that interferes with Lord Ravanovar's vision does not deserve to stand. The people of Ashwat are strong. We'll rebuild, and your violence will have been for nothing! There will be no one left to rebuild it. There's me. I've trained every day, ever since I could crawl. And if you want to fight, I'm bringing it to you! So exactly as I said, so basically it's exactly how I knew how sort of how it, it was gonna go apparently, so I just have to do it, like all I have to do is just go get some friends, some allies. Well you can, girl. All those who oppose Lord Ravanovar's perfect world will perish by my hand. I so swear it. Burning innocent people's homes? That's your idea of a perfect world? Okay, so this guy I need to take out. Okay, what are you doing? Are you just gonna? Which girl like you couldn't possibly understand? This is part of a larger plan. Well, your plan is evil, and I'm stopping it right now. So apparently, she does have to go and learn about her father and mother and what they did in the prologue area to learn what they stopped and who the man is that was there after they defeated the monster and everything so yeah so very typical of a story to be like this but very cool of a game as as well not so big now that you're fighting one-on-one, -on -one, are you? You haven't bested me yet, girl. Ah! Uh! Well, what? Witch! With what magic have you imprisoned me? Imprisoned? Come on and show yourself, coward! You're the coward, spiriting me away with your village magic! Shut up! That makes no sense. And you're so loud. It sounds like you're screaming directly into my mind. <clears throat> well, I'll find you. I just gotta concentrate. What is this place? I'm... inside myself? I... Shut up! But how? And why are you here? That's what I'd like to know. Well, this doesn't change anything. I'm still gonna destroy you. Try it. What? My fists won't connect. <laughs> Wherever this is, if I can't kill you, I'm leaving you here. Goodbye. But I... I told you to shut up! I... <laughs> So basically, this is like in her mind. Basically, she has a power from basically I don't know her mother. I'm I'm just guessing, but that's just a really good guess at this point. I'm back. Poor Ashwat, my village, everyone. What will we do? What should I do? I guess. I guess I have to bury Dad. Father, 
I'm so sorry I wasn't with you. Maybe I could have helped. Maybe you wouldn't have had to die. Please know that no matter how tough things were between us, I loved you anyway. I'm gonna make you proud. I'll get stronger. I'll find out what it is you wanted me to become. Believe that. Your father fought bravely. As a warrior, I recognize... You do not get to talk about him, ever! We're gonna find this Ravanavar of yours now. He'll answer for what he's done here. And you can either help me get to him, or you can rot in there. Rebuilding the village will have to wait. Oh, I'll bring you to him as a trophy. We'll see who makes a trophy of who. We're following your army's trail till we find him. So we're basically on a revenge trip, and along the way we're gonna figure out how her powers are and who my her parents basically are through the friends and everything that she meets, and basically the people that we're gonna meet are people that her parents have met along their journey and knew them when they were younger and all that. I'm guessing, I'm not really sure, but that's that's what I am just oh. guessing on. Be because that's, that makes a lot of sense somehow, but I don't really know how that makes sense, but it does make sense. But let's just... Okay, so... Just like, like how an RPG works, I'm supposed to... Oh, so you can come out after all. Under certain conditions, it seems. I'd rather not die stuck in your head, so I propose a truce until I can return to Lord Ravanovar. Ah, this is so frustrating! I can't get rid of you, I can't kill you, and now you can come and go out of my brain as you please! Trust me, if I could leave, I would. So basically, this is just basically... The people that are stuck in her head are basically her allies for the battle, and they just go in there anytime that I have to move, because they don't want to have too many characters on screen at once, I guess? Or what? I just don't understand that part of it. But let's just get this over with because apparently we have to do this. Okay, so after every fight, I get some health and I'm guessing that I can just run past them if I want to, but I'm not going to do that just because... I that's a part of what an RPG is, so an RPG is just leveling each, each character up and all that, so it's just better if I just do this, so leveling up the characters and doing what I need to do is a thing that seems the best to do, because if I don't do that, then I can and surely will die, so le so I will be fighting most mostly every character I come across here. Okay, so... Well, I've lost their trail. Where do we go now, murderer? My name is Dar. Use it. And I know my troops. They'll stick to the main paths, and you're no match for them on your own. If you mean to get to Lord Ravanovar, you should cut a path through the jungle. I'd rather not let you group up with your buddies again anyway, so... Jungle it is. Okay, so I can go up that way but I also want to check out this way because there always can be like a secret like do I have like some sort of like side dash or under dash okay so I yeah I do so it's just better if I do it this way so it makes a lot of sense okay so the more enemies the more health and uh, level up I get so it makes a lot of sense of what I'm doing here so it's a good thing that I am going this way so I can just level up both characters and do what I need to do, so it just seems the best if I do it this way. Okay, so nothing major right there, so not a lot that I can do, but fighting the enemies right there. Are, am I able to at least go... Okay, so I am able to select my own party, select who co comes and goes through her brain and everything so I'm guessing that it's gonna be like some third eye type nice. thing so that's what I'm guessing but I'm not really sure but that's all just speculation just because I really just don't know what's going on here 
block your attack because I sort of do need to. Feels a lot like the Steven Universe game that I played. Feels a lot like that, except I don't really have to wait for like any stars to come and build up. All I have to do is wait for my attacks to be able to regenerate, so that, that's cool. Oh, I don't want to be in here. I want to at least save so that if... Oh, there's someone out here. Hey, are you okay? You look not okay. <sighs> look at my stupid house. Did soldiers do this? They might have. All I know, I move all the way out here to the middle of nowhere to get away from all the noise. And then here come these idiots carrying on and taking my stuff. So I had to quiet them down, make them crispy, crisp them up real good. <laughs> Where are they? They're inside what's left of my house. Do you want to see? No thanks. I've been dealing with those guys all day too. Poor thing. Well, I guess that's it for me. Now my house is gone. So I'm just gonna wait here to get eaten by a Vitala or whatever. What? Why? Maybe you can come with us. I'm trying to find my dad's murderous boss. Us? But there's only one of you. Oh, well, the guy who murdered my father is living in my head right now. It's kind of a complicated situation. You are definitely gonna get eaten by a Vitala. What's a Vitala anyway? Keep hanging around here and you'll find out. You know, maybe we should get going after all. My house leaked anyway. So you're coming with us? Great! My name is Ashna. Maybe if you help us, we can... Hey! Ah! Again? Where'd I go? Oh, where'd you go? There's a man in here who looks extremely annoying. Yeah, that's my dad's murderer. I don't know what his name is. I have told you, my name is Dar. I am the newly appointed lieutenant to the great Navar army, unifier of the... Ajna, I hate him. Uh... <sighs> Can't even get a good fire going in here. Were you trying to set him on fire? Maybe a little. Well, thanks for trying. So, do I just live in your head now? I guess... I don't really know how this works yet, but I seem to be... absorbing people? Hmm... That's gross. My name is Rosmi, and my tiger friend here is Bomb. He used to have bones, but now he doesn't. I keep his soul in my lantern, and he makes things... crispy. Nice to meet you, Rosmi! It's good to have some actual company. I object to- Shut, Shut up. up! If I must... So basically anytime someone joins my team, like I said, we'll go into her head and then when we want the, that person out as our ally, they come out and everything. Um, okay, so we now have a healer and everything, so that's interestingly cool, I guess. So do they at all say anything if I come into here and talk to them? Okay, so yeah, I am able to talk to them, but it's just better if I just keep going forward if I can. Like, is there anything over here? Nope. So just go down into the hole and just do what we need to do here, apparently, because... Um, okay, so it's blocked off this area, so am I able to attack or something? Um, nope. So... Time to just go this way because apparently that's what we need to do. And no, duh, I figured that out already. Oh, need to go up, apparently. Okay, so I gotta realize what Strength. I'm doing. Um, what, what, what does this do? Um, um, okay, so that, that did something. I don't know what it, it really did, but it did something. So, I'm, um, okay. 
I'll figure all of this out sooner or later. I'm just not okay. So depending on what what button they have underneath them, that who blocks at what wow. time? Okay, makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. So she's the ranged attack person and everything. The new company person I have. So okay, makes a lot of sense on what's happening here. So okay. Makes a lot of sense of what sort of is happening, so let's just continue, I guess. I'm not really sure on exactly, exactly what happened, but apparently just let's go. Am I able to? So not apparently yet. I know I'm probably able to come back what? at some point. My mother's axe. I wanted this my entire life. What a terrible way to get it. More importantly... What happened to this soldier? What was he doing this far from the village? Looting and pillaging, obviously. But my soldiers wouldn't do that. We had a mission. Don't be so dense. He stole my mother's axe and then he got killed. It's as simple as that. And whatever killed him is probably still out there. So we'd better make tracks. Okay, so she now has her mom's axe, I guess? I'm not really sure on what's happening. All I do know is that I'm doing something. I don't... Oh, am I... Wait, 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 wait. Now that I am able to, am I able to come back and open these areas? Okay, so no, not yet, not yet. I, I thought I was going to be, but apparently I'm going to be leveled up in something that will allow me to do that. So, I'm going to basically level up in something not gonna attack you quite yet oh so no matter which direction I go this going left is the way I need to go but for right now okay what are you doing seriously okay so I gotta watch out for what I do because if I'm not then I can die um, I did not know I could parry my attacks. That's kind of interesting. Do I get any, like, heals or no? Or, like, I need to heal quickly and I'm not really sure. Okay, so apparently by pressing L1 you're able to parry. No, not parry, but, like, d like go and... Like, block the enemies, I'm guessing. I'm not really sure on what's happening here. Okay, just do that, apparently. Okay, so pressing that button is going to help, uh, apparently, because it does allow me to block everything from everyone. So that's a good thing to know. So once they are knocked out, are they knocked out for good? Or do they come back to life? At some point after the fight. Pathetic. Okay, first off, I need to make oh, sure that I don't yeah, die yeah, personally. This has its benefits. Okay, so I need to basically heal everyone because if not, like, am I able to heal or what? Because it doesn't really make sense on if I can't heal right now, then. That's not going to be good. Okay, so I am able to see what the characters do at what point and everything. So, makes sense. So, what... Oh, so if I... Okay, makes sense. So, at the moment, she can go and heal the party if needed. Need be. So, that's cool. I don't exactly know what's happening here, but it looks very promising. Uh -oh. oh! That's a big boy! This is not going to turn out to be good. If I don't do this correctly, I can surely die. Yes, no duh. I'm pressing the button. That's the button that I just learned how to press. Meaning that I learned that it parries attacks from everyone. Okay, wait. Get a hit, I guess. Okay, so that happened. 
need to be very cautious on what I am doing because if I'm not, then I can. Oh, am I able to reheal or something? Like, I'm not really understanding the mechanics of what I'm doing right now, but it looks promising right now. It looks very promising. If I can hit him one more time, that is going to be promising. My father once told me something terrible lives in these ruins. Something worse than the Belu. I guess that's what killed your friend back there. He was my subordinate, not my friend. Though I do feel for him. Feelings, huh? First time for everything, I guess. <laughs> okay, so... I'm gonna possibly be doing that. So, I'm gonna possibly be going and killing this big ugly guy that is in the ruins of course so let's save so then I don't if because I don't know if saving is something that I'm able to do and when I say saving isn't something that I'm able to do meaning that I don't know if saving is something that I'm supposed to do to get a checkpoint so I just would rather just do it each time
So basically, as long as she accepts people into her party or to travel with them, they're able to go inside this mystical realm, I guess? Into the inner realm, I guess? I'm not really sure, but... Okay, so I'm only able to talk to the people that are basically on my team, so... Makes a lot of sense, so let's just continue... Oh. So... So how... So, while... Wait... Oh, so I am able to use the axe to get higher. Okay. So let's just do what I need to do here. Try not to fall, of course. And now... Okay, so I... That was not exactly what I wanted. Oh, so now I have more attacks that I can do. That That's really cool. Okay, so it, so it looks like if I have enough of that shield stuff thing, I'm able to go and do stuff, I'm guessing. I'm not really sure, but if I build up enough energy, it seems like I can go and go and regenerate, you know, revive someone on my party. So that's cool. Okay, can you guys not do that? That would be fantastic. Okay, you just go and get hurt. Okay, so I'm, so I get hit right there. So how much health do I actually have? So I'm gonna have to be very cautious in this area. Am I even able to be in this area or not? Because it doesn't seem like. Okay, it doesn't really seem like being in this area is actually doing any good. Okay, so I have to really do this because if I don't if I don't get past this then I'm not gonna be able to move on with what I need to move on with and if I don't move on then I'm just gonna go back to where I first was before so I'm gonna make sure that if I don't I'm not able to do this then I'm just gonna go back to the area where I was supposed to go left so yeah okay so apparently I'm not strong enough to do that fight so I'm just gonna go left and see where that path takes me Instead of taking the, instead of going the right path, I'm gonna go the left path. So I'm just gonna do that. Okay, so do I just fight this guy that's over here? Okay, gonna come over here. Okay, good. So I was able to get this first attack out. So okay, that was really fantastic. So if I could do that again, that would be really good. Okay, wait for the attack that I can do. And now just go. Okay, good. Good, good. So... Oh, seriously, so I was supposed to go the right path. And this is just an optional more going path. Oh, of course it is. Uh, of course it was, so now just... Ugh. I'm gonna have to figure out how to do the next path without getting... Too much damage taken because that's what I do need to do. So I need to take the left path this time and let's try not to die this time. Um, that was really cool. Now I don't have to fight that enemy anymore. Like that. I'm sorry I surprised you. I've just never seen a clump of grass before. It's not grass. It's the Comferia galonga, a famous medicinal herb from the Oshwat region. Or it might be. Trouble is, it could just as easily be the foliage of a Kabanda monster. Their leaves look almost the same, even to a trained botanist like myself. Oh, Camphoria galonga! Like you know what that means. You might know it by its colloquial name, the Resurrection Lily. Oh, the Resurrection Lily! Anyway, why don't you just yank it up and find out? Um, the problem is, me and Honey are healers, not fighters. That's why I've just been stuck in place here, staring at this thing. Oh, if it's just monster trouble, you can leave that to me. You're 
sure you can protect us? That is her one and only strong suit. Yeah! I may not know about different kinds of grass, but I know all about pounding on Kabanda. Pull that sucker on up. Well, okay. Let's give it a go. Oh! Thank goodness. It's the resurrection, Lily. This is too much excitement for me. Beautiful specimen. Boring. I got all pumped up, too. Well, nice to meet you anyway, whoever you are. Oh, my name is Jinseng. And wait, where are you headed? Here and there, wherever the wind takes a host of world travelers like us. East. We're headed east. Say, before you go, could you help me out? There's a nice reward in it for you. Hmm, what do you need help with? Pulling up grass? Well, resurrection lilies, but yes. If you can help me find three more batches, I'll give you something really nice. Ajna, we should really move. We'll do it. Get that reward good and ready. So now I have a healer in my party or what, what, what? Um, okay, so they're just coming along, I guess. Like, okay, so yeah, they're not really a part of my party quite yet, so... That's a thing that I now know, so let's save once more, just because I really don't know what's going to happen. Okay, okay, so at the highest peak of my jump, I'm able to go and do that. So that makes a lot of sense, so I'm gonna have to be very cautious on how... how okay, so... so Let's go. Okay, I need to get back up here. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, good. Am I? Nope. Nope. Thought I was going to be able to, but apparently not. Apparently, I don't go up that way, so... Okay, so... So apparently I have this giant guy that I have to take out really fast because I can die from him. And I really do not want to. And yeah, I'm gonna have to be very cautious on what I'm doing and how I'm doing. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna have to restart this fight so then I can at least go and do this. So you do that and just... And no duh that I will have to redo that again. No duh. Wasn't really like... Okay, now I just have to... Okay, so I do have to attack at some point. Okay, just do this. And then once that... Oh, I didn't know I could switch between targets. Didn't know I could do that. So it seems like the best to go for the big giant one first. And I'm technically going to have to do this again and try to prepare for what's happening. So can't just rush in on stuff like this, of course. Okay, so let's just move on. Let's do over here. I don't know exactly where I'm like heading in this air direction, but I do know that I have to fight the vi Okay, so you're here once more. So I have to be very, very cautious on what I am. Okay, so I apparently wasn't as cautious as I was supposed to move. Okay, let's try dodging right there, let's now hit you twice, hit you, and then hit once. Block my attack. Okay, so by blocking all the attacks, I... So by blocking an attack, I lose the ability to do this. Okay, makes sense. So I should be very cautious on when and how I block, apparently. Okay, you just do that. You block, and then just revive the rest of the team, and let's try blocking once more. Let's wait for the team to regain ability to attack once more. And then let's just brute force this. Okay, good.
brute forcing once having the strength to is really good so is there okay so there was something down here so I'm gonna okay, get back up to here let's see if there's anything up nice you found a resurrection Lily this botany stuff is a piece of cake only two more to go okay so I don't really know what the the lilies do the resurrection lilies I'm guessing that they do exactly what their name is implying I'm guessing but I'm not really sure but that's what I'm guessing so uh, of course like any here any right here nope wait do I just just like what anything in this area nope so I don't cut anything there so okay okay go under there Let's save once more, just because I'm not really sure if saving actually does something that's good, so it's just better if I do. Okay. Of course, you're now here. Finally, challenge. Okay, good. Okay, now just brute force this. And now, block the attack. And then now, let's block the attack once more. Okay, you need to get hurt and die, because I really don't want to die myself, so I'm going to have to... Okay, good. And... Uh, wow, that was not good. Um, okay, so let's just keep going. So, need a hit with her. Now him, and then resurrect her. Of course, I do need a block when that happens, so... Need to really block and learn when to block and how to do it properly because I am sort of not doing this well. Sort of really not doing this well, but at least I can resurrect the my allies, so that's at least the best thing for me right now. Okay, good. Good. So now I can just move on and not have to deal with that monster. So... Where exactly am I going? If anywhere. Like, is this, what, this the area I need to go to? Because, okay, wait. So, wait. How do I go down? Exactly, like, is there, because I do see on the map that I can go down, but how do I do that in, in this place? Like, exactly how do I do that if I'm not able to? Like, there is a question mark right there, so... I am right here, so... Was I supposed to defeat the monster right there or something? Like... What exactly do I do? If... At all anything, because it doesn't really seem like... Doing anything right there does something, so... Wait... I'm now in this new area, so... Yeah, I know, I, I can go underground, but I, I, appar I apparently don't have anything to do that, so I'm, I'm gonna apparently have to go up from here to get something. I'm not really sure on what I'm supposed to be getting, but it does look like I'm supposed to be getting something here. But what exactly, if anything? Okay, so I go up from here. Oh! So was I sup- wait. Wait, what- what exactly am I supposed to do? Am I not supposed to be here? Am I supposed to be here? What- what exactly is the purpose of this area? Because it doesn't really make sense of why I'm here if there's really nothing that I'm supposed to do. Okay, first off need to wall okay need to do this a little bit better okay good oh am I supposed to like now jump up to here is this the area I'm supposed to go that's two lilies we found as soon as I picked it up I knew sure because it wasn't a kabanda yeah uh, anyway let's go find one more 
So that's all I need to do is just keep finding the lilies and just doing that. But exactly how and where do I find one? Because it doesn't really seem like one is in the area anywhere. So where exactly do I find one if I can't at all go any further than how I'm going right now? Like, I can't go any further than how I'm going right now, so... It seems like there there has to be some sort of area that I'm not seeing that I need to go to. Because on the map, it does... I know that there's question marks... Oh. I think I just figured out where I need to go. Let's try doing it. Because it seems like that's where I need to go. Let's try it. Okay, first off, if I have to, I'm gonna... I'll jump to there, and then we'll jump back. And let's just see. Like, is this the area? No. Like... So I'm apparently supposed to go down to here, I guess? No, not down to here. Good thing the enemy can't really see me. So... Oh, wait. I was just there at the place where I need to just go. Okay, okay, I will figure this out. I'm just gonna fight this enemy now that I can. Here you are! Three bundles of Razza freaking lily leaves! Resurrection. Whatever. Point is, I got the goods. Fantastic! You know these things can cure rheumatism, and headaches, and fevers, and intestinal parasites. Cool, cool, cool. So what's that reward you were talking about? Oh, the reward? It's our friendship. What? what Here we go. We'll be your friends, and travel to exotic places with you. And you can protect us as we become the greatest botanists in the world. Uh... It'll be perfect! We've got enough know-it-alls in this group. Thanks. Um, um, did I mention I'm a healer? I can heal you during your glorious battles. Hmm, that's a good point. And our battles are pretty glorious. Ajna, no. I concur. We needn't take on extra baggage. I don't like the looks of this child. Uh, who asked you, Dar? Why are you even here? That's a good point. Well, whatever. If Dar says no, I say yes. Let's go, tiny weirdos. Yay! I wonder what we'll find. Okay, so I have a healer to the team, so that's cool. Uh, okay. So I am able to heal a lot, apparently, so... That's really cool. So, do do all the members of the team just have the same amount of health as we do, like the rest of the team does? So, they aren't under leveled or something? Because that seems like what's going to happen. That seems like what's happening. So, I'm not really sure, but okay, okay. So, I will have to get back up there because there is, I think, something that I need to get to. So, I'm not really sure. If there is anything, but... Okay, so, yeah. I'm going to leave this episode here. This is a really interesting and fun game and all that. But... I really don't understand what's happening. Like, I do know what happens and everything. Like, I get that it's a generic, like, hero. And the hero has the parents die. And she has to figure out about... She has to figure out who she is in the world and how she has magical powers and who her mother was and everything like that so I understand that aspect because it seems a lot like Shantae except instead of knowing that who she is she doesn't so it's almost similar to like Shantae almost it feels like but I really like the combat and I really like how it all presents itself and I like how it isn't one of those typical RPGs to where you have to go into me menu after menu after menu just to go and do stuff. So that is really cool and I like how the, the directional buttons go and help you during battle like tell you 
it goes and lets you hit differently depending on what if you press up down left or right and it's just really cool I, and I really like this but I will only play more if you guys want any more because I'm not really sure if I should do this as a series I am sort of on the fence of it I'm not really sure if I can at the same time do it so if you guys want more just tell me somewhere and I will do more but this is a really interesting and odd game but i am enjoying it i am thoroughly enjoying it so if you guys want more just tell me somewhere and i will do more but anyway i'm just gonna leave this episode here and i'm just gonna go see you if you like the video hit that like button if you want more videos by me give a boy subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next Bye -bye!